The legend of Bigfoot, also known as Sasquatch, has captivated the imagination of people around the world for decades. Stories of a large, ape-like creature roaming the forests of North America have been passed down through generations, blending indigenous folklore and modern pop culture. Bigfoot is often described as standing between six and nine feet tall, covered in dark hair and possessing a distinct, powerful odor. This mythical creature has been the subject of countless eyewitness accounts, blurry photographs, and even dedicated research organizations. Today, we'll delve into the rich and mysterious lore surrounding Bigfoot and explore the reasons behind its enduring popularity, historical context, and indigenous legends. Bigfoot's origins can be traced back to the oral traditions of various indigenous tribes across North America. Many Native American cultures have stories of large, hairy beings that possess both human and animal characteristics. For example, the Salish people of the Pacific Northwest refer to this creature as Sesquak, a term that translates to wild man. Similarly, the Algonquian-speaking tribes have legends of the Wendigo, a monstrous forest-dwelling entity. These stories often depict Bigfoot as a spiritual being serving as a guardian of the forest or a harbinger of environmental balance. The rich tapestry of these legends laid the foundation for the modern myth of Bigfoot. Modern Emergence of Bigfoot Modern Bigfoot phenomenon gained momentum in the 1950s when reports of mysterious footprints and sightings began to surface in the United States. One of the most influential events was the 1958 discovery of large humanoid footprints at a construction site in Bluff Creek, California, by a worker named Jerry Crew. His findings were widely publicized, sparking a media frenzy and introducing the term Bigfoot to the public lexicon. This incident is often credited with transforming Bigfoot from a regional curiosity into a national sensation, inspiring further investigations and stories. Patterson-Gimlin Film In 1967, the most famous piece of Bigfoot evidence emerged, Patterson-Gimlin Film. Shot by Roger Patterson and Bob Gimlin near Bluff Creek, this short clip purportedly shows a large, bipedal creature walking along a riverbank or disappearing into the forest. The film has been scrutinized by experts and enthusiasts alike, with opinions divided on its authenticity. While skeptics argue that the film is a hoax, citing inconsistencies and the potential for a person in a costume, supporters believe it provides compelling evidence of Bigfoot's existence. Despite the controversy, the film remains a cornerstone of Bigfoot lore. Eyewitness accounts and evidence. Over the years, thousands of eyewitness accounts of Bigfoot sightings have been reported across North America. These accounts often describe similar characteristics, such as the creature's towering height, shaggy hair, and distinctive odor. In addition to eyewitness reports, various types of physical evidence have been presented, including footprints, hair samples, and even alleged Bigfoot nests. However, the scientific community remains skeptical, as much of the evidence is either inconclusive or easily explainable through natural phenomena or hoaxes. The lack of concrete evidence has fueled ongoing debates about the creature's existence. Hoaxes and Misinformation The Bigfoot phenomenon has been marred by numerous hoaxes and misinformation campaigns. Some individuals have fabricated evidence or staged sightings to gain fame or financial gain. For example, in 2008, a pair of men claimed to have found a Bigfoot corpse in Georgia, only to admit later that it was a rubber gorilla suit. These incidents have cast doubt on legitimate reports and contributed to public skepticism. Additionally, the rise of digital media has made it easier to manipulate images and videos further complicating efforts to discern fact from fiction. Scientific Investigations and Skepticism Despite the abundance of reports and evidence, the scientific community largely remains skeptical of Bigfoot's existence. Critics argue that the lack of definitive proof, such as a body or DNA sample, undermines claims of the creature's existence. Moreover, some scientists point to the lack of ecological evidence, such as a sustainable breeding population, as a key argument against Bigfoot's reality. Nevertheless, some researchers continue to investigate the phenomenon, employing methods like footprint analysis, audio recordings, and environmental DNA testing in the hopes of uncovering definitive evidence. Bigfoot in Popular Culture 
Bigfoot has become an enduring icon in popular culture, appearing in countless movies, television shows, books, and even video games. The creature has been portrayed in various ways, from a fearsome monster to a gentle giant. This widespread representation has solidified Bigfoot's status as a cultural phenomenon and contributed to its global popularity. Shows like Finding Bigfoot and Expedition Bigfoot have attracted large audiences, blending entertainment with pseudo-scientific investigations. The creature's mystique and elusiveness continue to, to inspire creators and captivate audiences. Bigfoot Hunting and Cryptozoology The search for Bigfoot has given rise to a dedicated community of enthusiasts and researchers, known as cryptozoologists, who study and investigate creatures that are rumored to exist but lack scientific evidence. These individuals often conduct expeditions into remote forests, armed with cameras, audio equipment, and other tools in the hopes of capturing evidence of Bigfoot. While many cryptozoologists are serious researchers, the field has also attracted thrill-seekers and hobbyists, adding to the diversity of the Bigfoot community. The pursuit of Bigfoot embodies the human desire to explore the unknown and challenge the boundaries of science. The Psychological and Sociological Aspect The Bigfoot phenomenon also offers insights into human psychology and sociology. The enduring belief in Bigfoot, despite the lack of conclusive evidence, highlights the power of folklore and the human tendency to believe in the extraordinary. Some psychologists suggest that the Bigfoot myth serves as a way for people to connect with nature and explore the mysteries of the natural world. Additionally, the phenomenon reflects societal anxieties about environmental degradation and the loss of wilderness. The figure of Bigfoot as a guardian of the forest, resonates with contemporary concerns about conservation and the preservation of natural habitat. Future of Bigfoot Research As technology advances, the methods used to search for Bigfoot continue to evolve. New techniques, such as drone surveillance and environmental DNA analysis, offer promising avenues for future research. These tools could potentially provide more definitive evidence of the creature's existence or, at the very least, contribute to our understanding of the natural world. The Bigfoot community remains hopeful that one day, definitive proof will emerge, settling the debate once and for all. Until then, the legend of Bigfoot will continue to inspire curiosity, debate, and exploration. The myth of Bigfoot is a fascinating blend of folklore, science, and popular culture. Whether viewed as a legitimate mystery or a modern-day legend, Bigfoot continues to captivate the imagination of people around the world. The creature's enduring appeal lies in its ability to embody both the familiar and the unknown, serving as a symbol of the mysteries that still exist in our world. As long as there are unexplored forests and untamed wilderness, a legend of Bigfoot will endure, inviting us to ponder the possibilities that lie beyond the boundaries our understanding. Thank you for joining us on this journey through legend and lore. Subscribe for more mythical tales and epic legends.